So I wasn't going to do a video on this. This is a electrofusion welder. I've been asked to have a look at it. Make sure it's functioning correctly and that sort of stuff. And part of that is I open it up, check the wiring, make sure the wires haven't pulled out the glands, that sort of thing. Check the continuity on the output leads. Basic checks, right, to make sure it's safe and that sort of thing. But I'm starting to put it back together. I put the top back on again and moved it. And then I said, hold on. It wasn't making that sound before I pulled it apart. So there must have been a bolt caught up in something. So. Yeah, having bolts floating around inside high voltage electronic stuff, not the best. The last time I had a bolt loose inside a welder, it destroyed the welder. I couldn't fix it because it damaged the microcontroller and like, well, I can't fix that. Not like that. That one's missing. I'm guessing that that's why this came to me to be looked at. It's because someone maybe suspected it wasn't quite right. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe it just it was okay, it fell out when I pulled it apart and it dislodged it then. I don't know. Hopefully, nothing bad happened. I've got a neutral fit, it's not the same type, it's not a dome type. So I'm going to do one thing the manufacturers didn't do. I'm going to use some Loctite. The other one's also a little bit loose, so I'm going to do the same on that one. I'm going to pull that one apart, put Loctite in that too, before that one also does the same thing. Alright, let's do a voltage test, see if this thing seems to be outputting the right voltages or not. This is a 20 ohm load, which means we should get around 100 volts on the output. Let's turn this on. Well, it booted, that's a good start. It looks like it's ready to go. Let's push the button, see what happens. Looking for 100 volts, don't forget. 94, yep, that's fine. It's working. I think we're all good. At least it works okay. No worries with that. I can give that back to them. Easy little video demonstrating something we can go wrong. Catch you later.